up, this is Namrata and this is Arachi. Today we are back with another DIY trip trip video. And today's video is really interesting because the outfit we are transforming today is like really old. I used to wear it a lot, at least 7 to 8 years ago. This is basically a nightgown and I had no idea we still have it. Actually, I accidentally found it while cleaning our closet. Then we thought we had to make something with it because we love the silk print and the fabric is very comfortable. So, and at first we are thinking about making a thigh slitted skirt, something like this. And it was not looking very flattering on my body type, as you can see. So then we changed it into a dress. Yeah. And with the network fabrics we had, we managed to make a pretty sexy, sexy top. <laughs> and uh, I hope you will enjoy the video. So without further ado, let's hop right into the, the video. video. Alright, so if you're really interested in transforming your old nightgown or maxi into some pretty hot and sexy outfits, I welcome you to watch this video till the end. And for that, you need a dress or a skirt that already fits you perfectly so that you can trace the pattern onto the maxi. And I recommend you to fold both the maxi and the dress while dressing because that's how we do it. Then you can jump over the maxi like I did and then cut the dress pattern. After cutting, you may wanna pin the both layers together, but it's totally up to you. I do this because it makes the stitching process a bit easier. So here comes the part when we realize we are not satisfied with this being a skirt because it has so much potential to look better being a dress. So now let's make it a dress instead. And for that we have to draw a curve around the waist area with the help of a dress I already used previously. So after stitching the curve, I trimmed the excess fabric. Then I just hemmed the upper bust line of this dress like this. And for the strap, I'm using a 1 inch strip I cut from the leftover fabric and folded it like this and then made a top stitch. And we've decided to make a halter strap to hold the dress in the right place and my sister did the measuring, cutting and then tucking it to the right place to finish the dress. Then we spent some time separating all the pieces from this half turned nighty so that we can have a clear idea of how much fabric we have for the next outfit that we are gonna make. And when I started making the second outfit I had no idea of what I am doing because I had no particular design in mind. So I am using these two pieces as the front of the top. And this is the largest piece I found from the leftover fabric so I am using it for the back of the top. So I am removing all the excess and unwanted particles from this piece of fabric to make it a 18 by 12 inches rectangle. Thank you. 
Now I'm arranging the back and the front pieces in order to stitch them and the right side of the fabric should face each other while stitching. Then I pinned these layers together to stitch both the sides. Then just stitch and remove the pin, stitch and remove the pin, stitch and remove the pin like this and continue till it's done. Now I have to join the center front and I am marking 11 inches for a pretty deep neckline. Then after stitching, I gathered both the shoulder area like this. I mean by using needle and thread. Now we just have to make two straps for the back. Then after the strap is ready you can just join them like this. And for the back, I am joining the straps in a V-shape. And after tucking the straps, the top will be ready to wear. Now let's see the before and after and some styling ideas.
forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and also comment below your thoughts which will really be encouraging for us and also if you want we can share our video it will be in our lot so and see you guys in our next video bye bye